There's a push here in Arizona and nationally to encourage more minorities to pursue medical careers to help address health disparities. The number of Native Americans in medical schools and serving as doctors is especially low. Cronkite News reporter Tyon Marshburn traveled to Oklahoma to examine one initiative that's had success. As two-lane highways transition to gravel and dirt, Piper Long's farm in Skyatoke, Oklahoma looms in the distance. We're in the middle of pecan harvest here in Oklahoma, and um, this tractor here is set up to shake the trees to help the pecans fall down to the ground so that we can pick them with our other tractors that have pickers hooked on. Long isn't just a farmer, she's a mother of three and a medical student at the unusual age of 40. As an enrolled member of the Osage tribe, Long is one of the small number of Native Americans pursuing a career in medicine. Growing up, um, I didn't have anyone in my family or anyone that I knew in my community who was in health care. Oklahoma, home of the country's largest Native American population, is embarking on a partnership to address that disparity. Coming soon, a medical school on Indian land, the first in the United States. Having a medical school on tribal property is unique and I feel like it's going to improve health care in these rural communities and for our Native population. Native Americans make up 2% of the U.S. population, but a mere 0.7% are enrolled in medical school. In terms of those who go on to be doctors, Alaska Natives and American Indians represented less than 1% of physicians in 2016. That's about 4,000 doctors of more than 700,000 people. It's exceptionally important from a health disparities point of view, all right, to encourage individuals from rural and underserved communities to seek careers in medicine and to go back into those communities and serve. Few gay mentor students like Long at Oklahoma State University's Medical School in Tulsa. The facility is a leader in recruiting and training Native American students. Here at OSU's Center for Health Sciences, students work on mannequins like these that are able to bleed and breathe. The mannequins are controlled by the students' instructors, and it allows them to get a hands-on experience before going out into the real world. Student Brandon Postuk is a member of the Chickasaw tribe. I grew up with a lot of, uh, I guess you would call ACEs, adverse childhood experiences. Um, you know, we have, we have substance abuse in my family, we have uh, overdoses, we have pretty severe mental illnesses. And so uh, those are things that are kind of dear to me and are close to me. And so those are one of the things that I really would like to address. Once he graduates, he hopes to treat other Native Americans, something he never saw as a child. As a kid, you know, we would go to the hospital and um, never seen one Native, Native looking doctor. And so it was kind of like, for me, it made me think that Natives didn't become doctors because I didn't see any. An hour's drive from the medical school campus, a new facility would bring this kind of training directly to Indian country. This day, leaders of Cherokee Nation have gathered for a grand opening of the largest tribal outpatient health facility in the U.S. But just down the road, an even bigger accomplishment. Construction is underway on the new branch of OSU's College of Osteopathic Medicine. It is a great opportunity to increase that pipeline of physicians right here. I mean, we know statistically that a med student will practice within about 100 miles of where she goes to medical school. And so what that means is uh, we put those statistics in our favor by creating a medical school in this unique environment. The new campus is a dream come true for these students, native kids who are a part of a high school club for those interested in careers in medicine. A lot of us want to stay where our culture is at and there's not very many schools around us like in Tahlequah, obviously this is the first one, but a lot of us have to go out to search for what we want. The goal is to enroll up to 50 students in the first class and hopefully inspire more Native Americans to pursue medicine, something many have long seen as out of reach. A young person today can realistically say, I want to be a doctor and I want to take care of my people, but I want to do it in the Cherokee Nation. They can do that now.